The grunt levels stretch from Chepstow to Cardiff, covering an area of approximately 100 square miles. Around 7,500 homes sit on the levels, along with businesses and major rail and road links such as the M4. It's also where Len Attiwell has his livestock farm. His family has farmed here for four generations. His land ends where the Severn estuary begins, and he believes he could be in danger of losing both his land and his livelihood if the waters breach the defences, some of which can be traced back to Roman times. Salt water and good grassland production don't mix, and it will ruin our farm, and it will ruin our whole industry and every other farm on the levels. Whilst the flood warning is very laudable from the Environment Agency, in our particular situation here, we would have to go through an extra metre of water before we could even get to high ground, and it's just not feasible. These things don't happen. This young lady here, my granddaughter, would not be able to find high ground because she's a little bit shorter than the water that she'd have to go through. <laughs> Flooding is nothing new on the levels. The records show the waters once rose to 8.4 metres above sea level in 1981, and there have been other serious breaches both before and since. The Gwent Levels Flood Defence Alliance is calling for new defences to be built to protect the area at a cost of anything between 45 to £70 million. Pounds. It believes that could prevent a bill running into billions if the current defences are breached and the area is flooded again. If we lose the M4, even for a few days, if we lose the, set, the railway line and the Severn Tunnel, we lose the sewage infrastructure, the electricity infrastructure, the cost to put this, all these systems back in place and to rehouse the people who have to move out while the houses are done could be in excess, or considerably in excess, of two and a half billion. That's a very loose estimate for the information that we've got access to. A new report from the Public Accounts Committee for the National Assembly for Wales calls for more urgent action from the Welsh Government over coastal erosion and tidal flooding in Wales. The area around Caldicott and Wentluge is just one highlighted as being of particular risk in Wales. Parts of Cardiganshire and Clwyd are also seen to be vulnerable. The report recognises that a radical approach to managing coastal erosion and tidal flooding risks is needed in Wales, but it's taking too long. While the committee was certainly encouraged by some of the policies and options it heard for protecting our coastline, it was frustrated to hear about the lack of progress towards implementing them. There are organisations and authorities waiting for a steer from the Welsh Assembly Government, but the sands of time are running out. People on the Gwent Levels and Cardiganshire and Clwyd coastlines can't afford to wait and watch the water encroach on their homes and businesses. They need to know what is being done to help them. The Welsh Assembly Government must now tell these people exactly which bits of the new approaches programme were taken on in other ways and what plans are now in place. The full report from the Public Accounts Committee can be viewed and downloaded from our website www.assemblywales.org.